What's up guys? So today we're going to be talking about service. So if you're looking to get involved and get some service hours for dental school, some places you can always go and check out is your soup kitchen, you know, food banks, your animal shelters, you know, those local agencies that are always in need of help and I'm always wanting volunteers. Another thing you can go to is like churches, you know, if your church or even other churches, like they usually will have some kind of service that you can get involved in. You can check the school that you're going to. Mine had lots of service opportunities that I was able to participate in. And you know, if you just see something in your community that you think you could do to help people or like that there's an issue that needs something done about, you know, so take some initiative and you can start your own like service program, get other people involved or just do it on your own. So there's always different ways you can get involved and get some service. I think service is very important. That's something I grew up in with my church and through scouts and things. So I think that it's important for everyone to serve, you know, serve and help out your community. But do you actually need service hours to get into dental school? So most people probably tell you you don't. Um, a lot of schools it's not required. It's not something specifically they look for. Um, I know a lot of people that have little to like no service hours that have gotten into school. So it's not something you necessarily need, but it's something I think you guys need and something I think you guys should have. So here's why. So first off, it will look good to a lot of schools, if not like most schools. I mean, that you're giving your time and effort into someone, into helping other people looks really good. You know, and so they'll take that into consideration. And you know, a lot of schools service is important and a lot of schools are trying to help out and improve their communities or states that they're in. So you will be a better candidate for having service having service hours. Another reason is you never know kind of what will come from your service. It might help give you more motivation to be a better dentist or help give you more inspiration in becoming a dentist. So when I was in the middle of college, I did a service mission for my church. And so I went to a third world country and there was a lot of people there that had like no dental care. So like really bad teeth, bad gums, things like that were really common. And so they just really didn't have much access to care. So something, you know, that helped motivate me more to become a dentist because I want to go back there someday and be able to help, you know, provide some services for the people there. So that's something that, you know, has helped motivate me and helped me do better in school and gave me more of a why of why I want to become a dentist. You know, and that's something that it gave me to talk about in my interviews of like, why do you want to become a dentist? And that's something specific that I could go back to and, you know, just something important to me that I was able to share with them. And I think, you know, it helps give you more of a reason why. So on another thing, like that I was just saying, like it can help you in your interviews. A lot of the stuff I talked about in my interviews came from service experience. So at my co college that I went to, there's a service oriented group, especially over kind of like medical things. So it had like the blood or the red cross blood drive, like bone marrow drive and like hospital volunteering and stuff were all a part of this association. So I've got involved with the blood drive and started volunteering there. I met the managers and stuff. And then there was a manager position for the hospital volunteering that opened up. So I got involved there. I got that spot. And so I was managing and organizing with the hospital. And then the next semester, the director spot over all three opened up and I got that. So then I became the director and was involved with all of them. So I was able to teach different, you know, teach like lessons and give presentations, you know, and organize with different groups and people. And so I had a lot of like leadership experience and a lot of like, a lot of like um, conflict resolution kind of things, you know, like a lot of leadership experience that I could share in the interview. So it was very beneficial for me in that way. Another thing my school had was a volunteer drop-in tutoring lab. So I had good enough grades that I could go and tutor for biology and organic chemistry. And so I became a tutor and that I think really helped me prepare more for my DAT, you know, practicing teaching it to other kids, helped me understand that material really well and helped me do good on those sections of my dad. So, so that's another thing that I found beneficial. So, I mean, you never know how service will help you. And I think even more important than that, is the service is good for you. I think it's good for your soul, and I think it helps you become a better person, helps you care more about other people. You know, it's your chance to give back and help people around you and help your community out. So I think service isn't something you should just do for dental school, but I think it's something that you should do throughout your life. And that everyone, not just, you know, people that are going into dental school or med school or anything like that, they should be doing. I think everyone should be trying to have service like as a routine thing in their day-to-day -day life.
And I think dentistry is a great opportunity that you can give back to other people before and then after. You can provide your services for other people at discounted or free costs. And you can do dental missions and things like that. So my dream, you know, after my loans are all paid off for, I want to go on lots of different dental missions to third world countries where I can help provide them with services that they normally can't get. I want to do like free dental days every so often, you know, that people in my like community who can't afford dental care can come in and get the care that they need. So, like I said, I think service is really important. I think we should all be trying to give back. So if you guys want to help me, in my service efforts, please like and subscribe to these videos, help support me in this channel. You know, and then if there's anything I can do for you guys, if there's any topics you want me to cover or anything, any questions you have, please feel free to let me, or please just let me know if there's anything I can do for you guys. Um, but yeah, let me know if I can do anything for you. I really appreciate you guys. Um, thank you for watching the video and for all the support you guys have given me.